Good morning, good morning, hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Okay, the reason why I'm making, uh, I make this video once a year, uh, about this time of the year, uh, end of the year and the beginning of the year, so, so that people who bought the Bravo Vista Pro or Express during the holidays and then thinking about returning it or keeping it. Okay, so hopefully this video help you decide what you need to do. Okay, by the way, before you are returning it, get one of these, okay? So this is a 3D dosing funnel. Uh, you can get it from Amazon everywhere. I'm gonna put the link down below. And, and also get yourself scale, okay? Scale and 3D dosing funnel. So this, uh, this is like, think about it as training tool, okay? You need this, okay? Because especially scale is definitely valuable and 3D dosing photo is messy free. So get this, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So give yourself a fighting chance, okay? I don't care about like bottomless pore filter, like fancy distribution tool. Don't worry about that right now, all right? Because I know a lot of you purchase, especially Bravo Brista Express and Pro during the Black Friday special. Uh, by the way, congratulations. You guys got the best deal of the year. I checked the price right now on Amazon. Bravo Booster Pro as sitting at $834, okay? And then I know you guys got that one for $680 during the uh, Black Friday special. So yeah, I mean, you guys did good. Man, it is pricey. Uh, Bravo Booster Express this morning. Uh, seven, what is this, 7.99, hold on, let me double check the price here. Uh, yeah, 7.49, okay. 7.49 this morning. So, I know you guys got that one for 600 bucks, uh, last month. Which means, if you guys got this machine, you guys been using it for about a month, okay. Uh, let me know in the comment section, you guys like it so far or you don't like it? Yeah. And let me know because I'm very curious. Okay, uh, get this one from Amazon too because just in case if you don't like it, just return it, get your money back. Uh, if you just got this machine during the holidays, the return policies are from Amazon, I think you're good till like end of January. So you, you should be clear, okay, clear on that. So I want you to enjoy the machine first couple of weeks at least. So that's the kind of like set the path there because most times you like the idea of making espresso and making latte in the morning. And then once you're getting into it, you know, it can be overwhelming. Okay. It can be overwhelming. It's painful sometimes. Uh, when I start the, when I bought this machine, I watch tons and tons of videos. Guess what? I waste so much coffee. I'm thinking, man, I mean, what am I doing? You know, I mean, that's waste my time, waste my money, especially time. A lot of time I spend, you know, so, some, some mornings, half an hour to dial in with my bottomless pot filter because it looks cool on the internet. But once you're doing it, it looks pretty bad. Okay. So if you're struggling right now, I mean, so this video is for someone struggle, struggling with the machine. Take out the single wall baskets. Okay, I know you guys are using single wall baskets. I know people are telling you you're gonna get the better tasting chef from single wall baskets. Yes, answer is yes. But I want you to enjoy for at least the next couple of weeks get, getting hang of using the machine. Okay. Go to your uh, box here. So you, you, you have this on your machine. If you buy a brand new, if you buy, uh, if you have used ones, uh, hopefully whoever buy from, they give you the, the extra filter baskets. And you're going to pick out the single, uh, double wall baskets. Back of your basket say has a double wall on it. Okay. It has a double wall. That's what you need. And just pop that thing into your portal filter. So I, I, I'm going to be using the bottom left, so I'm going to show you what that look like. So use that as your starting point. And do not listen to your friends about, you know, how, how to make your coffee. Follow my step. Okay. Follow my step. All right. 
Uh, you know what? Let's see here. Let's make some coffee first, okay? So follow this. My, uh, so imagine, okay? Get up in the morning, come to your kitchen. Hopefully by that time, you're gonna have your scale. Order it now, okay? Uh, you don't have to buy fancy, just get the cheapest. So this is the, what, $10 scale from Amazon. All right, you are going to measure out, uh, doesn't matter, uh, six, uh, say 16 gram. I like to measure out sing, uh, 16 gram. Turn on your machine. Starts right there, okay, it's really fast. Uh, comes to, it's a grind time there. Uh, since we are doing the single dose, six, it's kind of like one second per gram. So 16 gram takes about 16 seconds, but I like to go a little longer. Okay, so get all the coffee grinds out. So I set at eight, uh, 19, you could set at 18. Play with the time. So this is a time dose. Put the coffee in. I'm not gonna bother to just warm it up here, I'm, but I do want to warm up my porter filter, okay? Just like so. Hopefully I can show you guys better here. Okay. I'm just heating up my pore filter with the water. Hot water coming up. Okay, just like that. Uh, let's do one more time. Okay, I'm just gonna heat up my pore filter. Uh, doing the dummy shot like this. Okay. All right. Just wipe it clean. Uh, with double wall baskets, since they are pressurized baskets, you see the grinder setting? It's not as, it, not as important, uh, let's put it that way. So for my case, I'm going to set at, let's go, you know, number, you know, number, like number 13, okay? All right, just kind of like meter of the road, number 13 there. I'm going to lock my... Okay, so before we go, let's review our setting. Menu. Uh, we're going to do, okay, let's see here. Water temp, I set at the highest if you want. If not, you can go down to, you know, default temperature. You can go lower. So I think it's plus two and plus four, I believe. Could be plus one and plus, I think it's plus two and plus, uh, plus four each notch right there. So let's set a default temperature, okay? You know, let's go one more. I want a little warmer there. Okay, we are locked in. And again, we got the single shot and double shot. Uh, we all, I mean, I always do double. That's it. You, you hear the noise right now, which means n there's no more coffee to grind. Okay. And so this is it. And I know some of you likes to do WDT. I know you guys hear about that a lot. Uh, I have a video on that as well. This, so this is the homemade tools, okay? Just a wine cork and some acupuncture needle. But you do not need WDT on uh, double war baskets, pressurized baskets. I'm gonna show you why that is. Okay, I'm just gonna do quick. Again, you don't need to have. Okay, comes to puck prep. I know people say do this and do that. Again, pressurized basket, you do not need. All right, there's no puck prep knee. Just temp it, you're good to go. Uh, one thing I like to use, uh, just uh, it's called puck screen. You can get it from Amazon as well. Uh, clean my shower head clean. That's it, that's the only reason I'm using it. Okay, but this is uh, optional. I'm gonna lock it in there. All right, let me show you. Okay, let me show you the, the, what the shot looks like. 
at this point I'm just gonna press the double cut button just to let it run you see that tiny stream of coffee coming down that is a pressurized baskets working you see they look like a lot of crime are coming out as well it's gonna stop at 24 seconds look at it so this is a beautiful the looks very beautiful but that's our fake crema. Uh, I call it as a fake crema. because everything is all pressurized okay. the great thing about the pressurized uh, you're gonna get the, the pressure uh, pressurized shot every single time so there's no bad shots it's gonna be great shots no okay but this is a uh, still a lot better than your local coffee shop for sure all depends though I mean depend on the coffee shop but yeah so now you have a uh, coffee and simply you can add uh, hot water for your Americano and if you want to try latte you could do that as well okay so let's do quick latte okay quick milk based drink uh, I prefer whole milk if not uh, if you're counting calories uh, half and half is really good too okay Half and half is fantastic. I think I'm gonna make a smaller drink. I like cappuccino. Okay. Just a little bit of milk. And so I'm gonna be using the six ounce cup here. Again, everything is all cold. So I'm just gonna heat up my, I'm using my steam one to heat up my cup. Kind of like purge the water a little bit too. Okay. If you have a Bravo Barista Pro for the holidays, I mean, you did good. Okay. I mean, that is a, some of the best home machine out there. I mean, that's one of my favorite coffee machines. Just a simply transfer the coffee here. Okay. Let's, uh, steam some milk I, I think I, I think I should do make a video on how to steam the milk Brista Pro because I mean that works amazing okay watch you gotta wait a little bit I like to purge that for a couple seconds and stop and put back in because I want to purge out the water first And then get the circular motion. I, I bet you guys been watching a lot of videos on how to steam the milk. You know, make sure you get the circulation going, create a micro bubble. And then within about 30 seconds, your milk is done. Uh, make sure you have a wet paper, uh, wet paper towel ready, okay? Because you don't want to have burned milk on your steam one there just 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 make sure wipe it clean and you should be good okay again you see that the fake crema on the top so that's fake crema so what i'm gonna do is uh for the presentation I, i'm just gonna mix the you know crema to the coffee there okay Let's do some little bit of latte art. Okay. Hopefully we can make some. We can do some decent latte art this morning. Okay, here we go. Yeah, a little bit of heart shape, but they don't quite work out. Okay. But it's okay. All right, so, so let's try this coffee. Okay. There you go, happy holidays. Really good. <clears throat> uh, if you are into milk-based drink, 
Uh, if you don't want to mess with the dialing in process, uh, just use the pressure as basket. And if you're into Americano, same thing. Because I want you to, again, enjoy the machine right now. Because if you're having a, such bad time, I mean, as you saw, what, I just made a coffee in like a few minutes. Uh, it comes to cleanup. Okay, let's talk about cleanup. Uh, downside of a pressurized basket is sometimes the puck got really stuck. That's another reason I like to use the puck screen. Uh, usually, uh, come right out. Okay, make the puck drier. Like, like this. Okay, so that's another reason I like to use the puck screen. Not because it gives you a better shot. So, again, if you just got into a coffee machine, <clears throat> Chip scale, 3D dosing funnel, okay? I know if you have a 3D print at home, I believe you can just download the file from a Thingiverse. So you don't have to spend money on it. But, so this is the two thing. And then, uh, let's see, if you have like fancy kitchen, get a temping mat, all right? Temping mats are very useful. So those three things, you already spend, you know, seven eight hundred dollars on coffee machine anyway so spend another about 20 bucks 30 bucks to get uh these tools okay make your life a lot easier comes to making coffee wise i have literally thousands of videos on my channel how to use express express and pro okay so uh you don't have to go anywhere just hang out watch my video if you've got nothing else to do <clears throat> but yeah uh, I want you to enjoy, okay? I want you to enjoy the machine. And still good, okay? So this is a, people are gonna tell you, I mean, this is not a, this is an appliance. You know, give you a hard time, for sure. But uh, comes to making coffee wise, I compare this machine with my Bianca, my Rancholia Sylvia, uh, I mean, my, some other coffee machines. And I mean, this machine performs. Okay, but don't get discouraged. Uh, I want you to have fun. Okay, I want you to have fun with this machine. Uh, you can make hot chocolate with it. With the, you can froth the milk with the uh, Pro or Express. Doesn't matter. And then put the hot chocolate mix. You're gonna have a you're gonna have some amazing hot chocolate. Hold on. Let's see here. So who is on this morning? We have. Is a put my glasses on. You got John's on, you got Terry's on, Ren's on as well. Good. Yep, so Trey has uh, still work with yeah, Esper Bar. Oh, yeah. Esper Bar lasts forever, pretty much. They last a long time. So, I mean, that's one thing you can count on those older machines, even like Rancholi or Serbia. Man, it's, you can have for literally 20, 30 years, as long as they take care of it. Uh, comes to Bravo Vista Pro Express, there's a shelf life, okay? I mean, because it's going to last you for less than 10 years, uh, you are doing pretty good. Ten, I know some of you have for 10, 15 years, so I mean, they're still going. They're still going in the wild. So, uh, easy to replace parts. It's not bad. Comes to pump is pretty easy. Uh, solenoid valve, uh, yep, that's not that bad either. And then, but I mean, if you use 10 years, you spend what? Let's say 800 bucks on the machine, that's $80 per year. So once you're breaking down, that's not that bad either. So, so just get yourself a new machine every 10 years. I think we are, I think we are pretty good here this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Again, if you're struggling with the single wire baskets right now, Okay, put to the side, bring out your double wire baskets for now. And once you, you guys get first comfortable with it, and then move back, <clears throat> bring back the single wire baskets, and start learning how to dial it in your coffee. But meantime, again, double wire baskets, have fun with it. All right, see you next time.